Let's be honest, when you started your business, you didn't do it because you wanted to spend countless hours carrying out your admin tasks. Nevertheless, here you find yourself with heaps of admin and like many, little motivation to get it done. So as much as you may find the admin tasks to be more or less interesting than the rest of your workload, it is vital to keep on top of them to help, help keep your business running smoothly. So here are our top five tips on keeping up with your business admin. Tip number one, schedule time for your admin. Book, book out time in your diary every day to keep on top of um, all of your admin and to stop the work from mounting up. Look ahead as well at your daily, weekly, monthly and annual tasks and block out time to complete them as they come around. Number two, get organised. Have you ever put off a task because you can't quite remember where you've put that important document and it's far easier to procrastinate than to go around and look for either the paper files that have been shoved into a drawer and are in a muddle or looking through the files saved on your PC. So organising where and how you save your needed files is crucial. It might take you a little bit of time to get it all set up and organised to begin with, but it will save you that vital time down the line. Tip number three, find the right software. So following on from the last tip, there is a whole host of purpose-built software out there that will help you keep on top of everything. So from accountancy software and apps like Xero and Dext, which will help with the finance side of things, to project management software, where you can schedule and assign tasks ahead of time. Take some time to review your processes and look to see if there's a way to use um, software like Zapier to integrate with your other software and automate some of your tasks. It's really important on that note to periodically review your processes and your software to make sure that everything is working um, the best way for you and your team. Don't be afraid to try out new ways of doing things um, as you don't want to slow old processes to waste your valuable time. And you might be put off from spending money on various software when you think that a good old spreadsheet might just do the job. But compare the time saving, um, compare the time you save on doing the tasks to the money you spend, it might actually be a valuable investment. Number four, having the right mindset. It's really easy to feel frustrated at boring tasks when you aren't focused on why they're important. Keeping on top of your business admin and the finance functions is imperative to the success and smooth running of your business. So when you change your mindset from the tasks being a chore to viewing them as a vital part of running your business, it's way easier to get motivated and to complete the necessary tasks. So maybe spend some time looking over your processes and your tasks to see why they help your business and that will help you change your mindset. Number five, what can you outsource? So even with the best intentions, there isn't enough time in a day to do everything. And after all, being a business owner means that you're juggling more than one job. Um, so are there any tasks that you can outsource? There are plenty of companies out there um, that offer outsourcing services for admin, admin related tasks, and they have whole teams of experienced professionals. Um, one that we really highly recommend is Get Ahead. And the reason we like them is because they've got no minimum hours or lengthy tie-ins. So you can design a level of support entirely around your own needs. And if things change requiring more support or less, you can change them accordingly. So this can be a really cost-effective way to get that extra help that you need when you're not ready to take on somebody permanently by employing them. And of course, we can help with your finance function. Having someone take care of your bookkeeping and your accounts will take immense amount of time and pressure off of you. So thank you for listening to our five tips. If there's anything that we can help with or you'd like any advice, then feel free to get in touch.